Hello friends, in this video I am going to show how we can assemble a desktop computer. So first this is the caching and this is the motherboard. Place this motherboard in the caching and screw this motherboard, mount this motherboard with the help of a screw. There are 4 to 6 screws which have to use to mount this motherboard with the caching. First, keep this this side the connector side outside keep it at the back of this caching so that we can connect all the connectors and mount the motherboard with the help of screw you must put 46 4 to 6 screws it's a very easy process you can do it by yourself, it's not so hard. So put all these all the screws and mount the motherboard properly. <coughs> After mounting the motherboard Place the power supply. This is the power supply. Place it from inside and put the screws. There are four screws to mount this power supply. Put all the screws after. Then move the mother the hard disk. This is the hard disk. Keep this part outside because you have to connect the connectors to it and this part inside. So insert this hard disk in different sections made in in any section and screw it screw it properly it must not be it must be placed very tightly so that the is not be moving because it may not work properly or it, may, or it becomes faulty if it is not placed properly. After mounting it, if you want to put DVD then place DVD from outside. RDC placed from inside, power supply is placed from inside, mother is also placed from inside but DVD should place inserted from outside. Insert DVD. Make it place it properly and screw 
the holes of this DVD and after placing it connect the power cables this is this must be connected to the same connector of with their motherboard similar connector is available in the motherboard so put it in its related connectors and this is the another power cable we must put into the motherboard so put it very well it's suitable connector is available it is mostly it is this connector is placed near processor and now connect this power supply this is these these are for dvd and rdx so if the device is parta then you can connect it directly if the sada then you must use an user different cable for it and after connecting all this put the power cable this is the power cable for hard disk so connect the hard disk connect the hard disk with motherboard through data cable and so in every hard disk and dvd there must be two cables one for power supply and one for data supply so this is the hard disk is sada type so we must use this connector additional connector to convert parta parta supply into sada voltage is same the connector is different so you can put this connector so in this way you can connect assemble the cpu and after doing this connect this is small cables these are the cables of the front panel i mean this is the power switch restart switch and the led leds placed on front side so put it at its different headers the connectors the points where these connectors are these cables are connected are called headers and there are many headers for audio usb and audio usb usb audio and the power switch and the leds so put this at the related headers and in this way you can make your co computer assembled so this is very easy process you can do it by yourself if if you if you, uh, if you have any question if you want to ask anything about any type of problem related to your desktop or laptop or cell phone then post in comment box i will definitely reply you if you like the video then share this video and subscribe my channel for further new videos thanks for watching keep watching all the video of this channel help growing us so bye 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 for now see you in next video thank you